Welcome back guys, so Forsaken just got released today The 70 US dollars game Initial reviews are in and things are not looking good for the game Performance optimization is needed Barely getting 60 FPS with an RTX 3080 I got the game for free and I still feel like I have been robbed In India the game's price is around Rs. 4799 It's way too expensive Thankfully, a demo is available. I have downloaded it on my Steam Deck. Its size is around 40 GB. Game is installed on an SSD. SK Hynix VC711. Let me show you the system requirements for this game. 16 GB of RAM is the minimum requirement. So, it will be interesting to see how the game runs on Steam Deck. Total physical memory available on Steam Deck is around 16 GB. It is shared between the RAM and the GPU VRAM. For this game, when I had set the UMA buffer size to 1 GB, I observed a lot of stuttering as compared to UMA buffer size being set to 4 GB. For this gameplay session, I'll just keep the UMA buffer size to 4 GB. You can try experimenting with the different values of UMA buffer size to see how the game runs on your Steam Deck. During my testing, I had set the preset to the lowest. I observed a very variable FPS, 30 to 50. So I would recommend using the 30 FPS cap in order to get a stable experience. First, I'll run the game without any FPS gap. Game info section, unknown. I'm using Proton Hotfix selected by Valve. Did not observe any crashing issue. Played the game for about 40 to 50 minutes. This message pops up. Application requires more than 16 GB of memory. Just tap on OK. OK, let me open the quick access menu, performance tab. I'll set the overlay level to 3. Frame rate limit set to 60. Steam Deck never achieves 60 FPS in this game. That's it. Now let me show the game settings. Display settings resolution set to 1280 by 800 pixels. Maximum frame rate set to 60. Vsync disabled from here. I'm using a custom preset. Variable rate shading and dynamic resolution settings enabled. Model memory and texture memory set to low. FSR2 enabled set to performance. These settings have been enabled set to standard. Model detail level and texture filtering. So I'm not using the lowest preset. Few of the effects have been enabled depth of field. For quality. Cloud quality and shadow quality set to low. Ambient occlusion set to standard. Let's jump into the gameplay. Some of these settings barely have any impact on the performance. Alright, there's a character. Open area, here we're getting around 50 FPS. Magic effects in this game can be very demanding. Let me summon some fire. You can see FPS drop down to 40 here, 38. Oh. This should be easy enough. If only that were true of every battle. Texture pop an issue. Don't let them out flank you. Not gonna happen. Combat time. Observe the FPS counter here. It's not going below 30. FPS, so I'll just cap the FPS to 30 now. Console like experience. Yes. Yeah. 
मॉस मेडल थर्टी एफ एस कैप विल ऑल्सो हेल्प इन कंजर्विंग द बैटरी लॉक ऑन टू माई मिनी So yeah, guys, game is definitely playable on Steam Deck. I'll just set the FSR quality to quality. different magic come on you can see that they dropped down to 26 so i'll just change the fsa quality again set it to balanced This should be the sweet spot. Nope, not working. Your skills are coming along. Guess so, huh? Not good. I hope I don't die. Survive. Shit. Thought I was dead for sure. You weren't the only one. What the hell is this thing? Crocodile. One always wishes they'd make it a little more interesting. Nah, uh, all good with nice, easy wins. Thanks. Locked. I think I need to clear the area. Seriously, this is bullshit. Uh. 
Let's go into these crocs. There you go guys, stable 30 fps in this game, a game that requires 16 GB of RAM as the minimum requirement, just got unlocked, game is definitely playable on Steam Deck using these settings. So I'll end the video here, I hope you found it useful, thanks for watching and have a nice day.